Simply Safe is a popular do-it-yourself home security system, which is why I wanted to check them out. They offer packages ranging anywhere from $200 and up from there. In this video today, I wanted to go through the process of purchasing one of those packages, setting it up, and showing you guys what the app looks like. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Steve from the YouTube channel Steve Does, and I wanna thank you for joining me here at reviews.org. So Simply Safe, probably one of the bigger do-it-yourself security systems out there, which is why we're checking it out today. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I want to actually go through the process, showing you guys what the process is to actually purchase one of these on their websites, and then delivery will unbox it, set it up, go through the app. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. With that said, let's take a look at their website. Uh, okay, so here we have the Simply Safe website. Up at the top, I'm gonna click on Shop Now so we can look at everything that they offer. If we click on Show All, we can see that we can build our own system or we can go down through all of the different packages that they offer. So scrolling down, we can see they also have some cameras down here too. And then they also have a smart lock. So looking at all the different packages, I went with this guy right here, the nine piece system. This gives us me a little bit of everything. So we're gonna click on details. Uh, you do have the option of changing the color of the keypad and base station if you want to. I'm gonna leave mine at white and let's go ahead and add to cart. All right, so now we've got the option of picking our monitoring plan. Um, it says pick your plan. It only shows the interactive one here. You do have to click on show other plans. When you do that, you also see the standard. So you can either pay $25 a month or $15 a month. If we compare the plans together, we can see that the interactive comes with so many more features. Standard comes with the 24 seven monitoring and the built-in cell connection, which is nice. But if you want any of this other stuff, if you wanna save your video recordings to the cloud, you're gonna need the interactive plan if you want to use the app. So looking through this, um, if you want to get notica notifications from the app or set your system through the app, you do need the interactive plan. So if you don't select the interactive plan, I'm gonna click select standard here. It's gonna to try to push me again towards the interactive plan. So we'll click on that to get that discount. Discount is a 20% discount, so that is nice. We've got a free camera. So these do come with a free camera when you purchase a bundle. So the camera is listed right here. One other thing I want to do is I wanna add a doorbell. So let's click on continue shopping. Let's see if we scroll all the way down. Here's the doorbell. Let's add that to our cart also. Okay, so now that we have the doorbell on here too, perfect, there we go, with our 20% discount, and that discount is because we signed up for the one month free interactive. So we have that all set up. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and purchase this system. We just need to wait for it to arrive, and I'll show you guys what comes in the box. All right, so everything has arrived. We're gonna take a look at what comes in the box. Right up front, we've got the startup guide. In here is gonna be everything that we need to get started. So we'll be taking a look at this guy later. We also have this package here. So inside of this package, we've got the sign that we can put in front of our house. We've also got some stickers and we've also got some double-sided tape there. All right, so here is everything that came in the box. We've got the yard sign stake that came with the sign that we saw, base station, got our doorbell camera, smoke detector keypad. Here is the free camera that came with our purchase. Extra siren, we've got our entryway. These are gonna be for either doors or windows. Key fob, motion sensors, that is everything that came in the box. Let's go ahead and go through the setup process. All right, so I've started the setup process. What I did is I plugged in the home base and we started getting some lights down here that it was allowing a setup a device. Next, I followed the instructions, which was to pull the tab out of the keypad here, which activates the batteries on the keypad and allows it to turn on. And then I can see all of the display up here and follow along. So I don't need an app or a smartphone. 
to set this up, I can set it all up through the keypad here. So following the instructions on the keypad, you can make your selections by pushing on the sides or up and down. All right, so now that I have the keypad and the base set up, we're gonna follow the instructions on the screen to set up the next device. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to set up this entryway device. Um, I'm gonna pull out the tab. Everything is very well labeled. I really enjoy that when I was pulling out everything from the box, each box within a box had a label on it, so that was nice. So we're gonna pull this out. On the bottom of this device is a small button, so I'm gonna push that button in. Entry sensor, detected. Now choose a name. Perfect. So it has set that up. I'm gonna set this, it gives me a different option. Uh, so I can go through and either pick front door, back door, garage. I can cycle through the different ones here. I'm going to set this one up as my front door. And I'm gonna click over for set. Entry sensor, named. And that was it, I mean, that's pretty simple. So we're just gonna go through each one of these. Let's set up the motion sensor here. So I'll pull out the tab for the motion sensor and push the button on the bottom. Motion sensor, detected. Now choose a name. And that's it. So I'm just gonna go step by step through each one of these devices here, get everything set up, and we're gonna start testing it out. Okay, so now that we have some of this stuff set up, we're gonna mount it. If we take a look at the back of the panel, it's got sticky tape on the back, so we can stick this wherever we want to. And the cool thing about these is that they do have detachable mounts that they connect to. So you slide that down, that comes off, and then if you want to pull the tabs off, you can always just pull the tabs to pull those out. But let's go ahead and get this one mounted up next to the door here. All right, I have it mounted mine up to the door, so if we lift up on here, we can see that the mount is there, so that way we can take this around and move wherever we want to with it. And then when we're done, just put it up here. We've got a red button on top. That is gonna be your panic button. And then we've got all the settings here. So you can put in a pin if you want to. Uh, one of the cool thing is as you walk up to the system, it is going to detect you and show you the display up here so you can see what's going on. But right now we have the system off. Let's put in the pin. Okay, alarm is off. Now if I want to set home, it is now set to home. Now the same thing happens with the sensors here as far as being able to remove them. So I lift up on here, I can now take a look at that and see what's going on. But I just broke that sensor, meaning that the alarm has been tripped. Go ahead and put in my pin and we've turned the alarm off. Now you can also get into menu if you want to. Got to put in your pin again, and then go through all of the menu settings here on the base station. Another thing, we also have the key fob that came with it. So this you can actually either put on a keychain, or you can you know leave this next to your bed if you want to. But this is going to do the same thing as these buttons right here. So if I say off, alarm is going to be off. If I say away, now it's putting it into away. I've got one minute to get out. Let's see if we can cancel that. Okay, so we cancel that. So that is a look at the base station and hardware and what you can do with it. One thing I thought was cool about this indoor camera, if you look at the lens, the lens looks white. That is actually a metal shutter that has gone in front of the camera. So if you do want privacy, this has a shutter that will actually cover the lens to give you extra privacy. Now in the settings, you can set when you want that shutter to go off, if you want it to you know, be closed when you're when the system is off or if you're at home and then only open up when you're away. But that is a nice little feature to have with this indoor camera. Okay, so while I was able to set up everything through the keypad, I actually needed the app to install both of these cameras right here. So that just takes us into the next step of this video, which we're gonna be talking about the app. So let's jump to that now. Okay, so let's load up the Simply Safe app and take a look at it. So up at the top here, we have got our statuses. We have the system off. If we're home, but want to keep the perimeter armed, say doorways, windows, things like that. And then away would arm everything. Down here, we've got the history that we can take a look at. So if we click on history here, it's gonna go through and show you everything that's been happening with the system. One what time it happened, when there was a recording, what actually happened to see the system disarmed, camera detected, early entry triggered. So you can go through all of your history there. Let's go back up here and go back to a dashboard. So there are two ways you can do it. You can either click up here and go through dashboard cameras timeline, 
or if you want, you can just use the tabs below. It's gonna take you to the same thing. So if we take a look here, we have got the doorbell set up, and then we've also got the indoor camera. Now tapping on this is going to launch the live view. So that's the live view outside of my door. Tapping on the image, there are no other settings that you can bring up like you would traditionally with a different camera system. All you can really do is look at a live view. So we're gonna go ahead and X out of that. If you wanna go into settings, you can tap up here. And then let's say we wanna look at the doorbell settings. So settings, you can turn on and off motion detection. Night vision is on auto. Mic and audio, turn that on and off. Here's some status lights, all very basic stuff. So we're gonna back out of this, we can cancel here. And then the last tab at the bottom is timeline. So this is what we saw previously. It's just gonna be a timeline of everything that is going on. For example, here you can see a little bit of a camera motion that happened. And then we can also say, tap on this one. This one says it has one recording. It's going to play a demo of what actually happened. It's in low quality, so you can kind of just get a little time lapse of what was happening. But let's take a look at the menu again and we can go into settings. So settings here is going to give us all of these different options. We can change our location profile, plan and bills, general settings, device settings, camera settings. They are all going to be here in the app. Let's go back to the main menu here. But anyway, I just want to give you guys a quick overview of the app. So what did you guys think of the app? Pretty simple, right? So like the name implies, Simply Safe is simple. Purchasing was simple. Setting it up was simple. Using the app is pretty simple. But even though it's simple, it is not perfect. Something that I found disappointing was the indoor cam. The indoor cam is only 720p. I looked on the website everywhere, tried to scour where it listed that it was 720p. It doesn't mention it anywhere. It just says HD video, which to me in 2020 implies 1080p. However, that is not necessarily the case. HD does refer also to 720. I just wish they were more clear about that on their website. Now, I know that the camera did come for free, but if this is something that you were looking to purchase, there are better, cheaper options out there. Another thing that I wasn't a really big fan of with this system is that you really have to spend that $25 a month to get the full features of this system, including the use of their app. If you don't spend that $25 and you just get the $15 a month subscription that has the 24 seven monitoring that doesn't include notifications, access to the app, video recording, basically anything that you would want to have in a security system. I understand the option of spending more money if you're gonna be using their cloud service and, and adding more cameras to it, but having to spend the extra money to use the app was really surprising to me, especially in today's age when most systems allow you free app access at any time without having to spend extra money for it. Another thing that Simply Safe is missing is smart home automation with things like smart lighting. If you wanna add additional things, you can't do it with this system, which really limits you down the road. All right, so here are my final thoughts. I don't like that the indoor camera is only 720p. I wish it was at least 1080p like the doorbell. Also, there is no third-party smart home automation, which I wish it had. But here's the thing, I don't think that this system is designed for tech enthusiasts like myself. Simply Safe is a straightforward system that is easy to use and provides you the needed protection to give you peace of mind. But what do you guys think? Do you like the simplicity or do you want something that would be a little bit more complex? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys wanna know more about Simply Safe or other home security systems, check out the link below to reviews.org. Also, if this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. I wanna thank you guys for joining me here at reviews.org and I'll see you in the next one.